Welcome to SnapComs, your internal communications solution. This video will help you get started in the Content Manager, an online platform where you can create, send, and manage your messages. Then you'll publish those messages to a private server or to our server in the cloud. And finally, each employee's computer will have a copy of the SnapComs client program, which will connect with the server and deliver your message. To begin, just go to snapcoms.com, click Login at the top, and choose Content Manager Login. If your company uses our on-premise solution, you'll have an internal link to click on instead. Now, enter your username and password. You can check Remember Me and log in automatically next time. If you share your computer, please uncheck this box. And then click Login. By default, you'll see your admin dashboard, including a list of any messages you've recently published to your staff. At the top, you can create new messages, access your folders to explore individual existing messages, manage complete messaging campaigns, and check your calendar to see your outgoing messages. You can also click on the SnapComs logo at the top of any page to come back to the dashboard. Click on the user icon at the top right to update your password, set personal preferences like your time zone, make the current page your start page so you'll see it first the next time you log in, and sign out when you're done. On the left-hand side of every page, you'll see the main menu. Content includes your messages and reports on who's read each one. Our organization reports will help you analyze the operational health of your SnapComs installation. Users and groups includes details about the people in your organization who can receive messages. And management includes global settings for your whole organization. Please note, your personal account may or may not have access to each of these sections. Let's start with the content section. Here, you can review a calendar of your outgoing messages, quickly publish messages using a content template, manage your campaigns, check the recycle bin for any deleted messages, and access your content folders. You can hover over any folder and add a subfolder, as many as you'll like. For instance, you might have a subfolder for each department, each initiative, or each type of message. Or in a brand new installation, you might just have one subfolder with a few sample messages we've provided for you. Click on a subfolder and you'll see a preview of its contents on the right. Then you can click Manage Items or simply hover over the subfolder and then click Manage Items for a complete list of all of the messages in that folder. You'll see the name of each message, what type of message it is, who created it, and whether it's ever been published to your users. If so, you'll see when it was first created and when it was last published. Click the icon on the left and you'll also see when this message was first published, how many times it's been republished, and how many users have seen it. You can scroll through the list of messages, search for a particular message by name, or just filter your list by status. For instance, I'll look for messages that I've already published. And once you find the message you want, you can click on its name to open that message and make any changes. Just remember to click Save when you're done. If you've published this message before, you can also run reports on it. For instance, how many users saw this scrolling ticker? How many clicked on it to read the main message? And so on. And you can click the menu icon for more options. You can publish this message again, move it to a different folder, make a duplicate copy, or permanently delete it. I'll choose Disable. The message disappears from my list, but it's not really gone. When I need it again, I'll simply filter the list and choose Disabled, and the message is still right here. Notice, the main menu is still available on the left. You can still click on the SnapComs logo to get back to the dashboard, and you can search across all of your content folders at the top to find exactly the message you need, and then edit the message, publish it to your users, or run reports on that particular message. You can even search for folders and other pages across the entire content manager. To start a new message, click Create Content. 
Choose a subfolder where you'd like to save your new message, and then choose what type of message you'd like to create. Snapcoms offers pop-up alerts, scrolling tickers, interactive quizzes and surveys, branded screensavers, desktop wallpapers, and more. Depending on your company's subscription and your permissions, you may see all of these or just a few. For step-by-step -step instructions on creating each type of message, please go to snapcoms.com, click on the Learning Center tab, and pick Tutorials. You can also click on our Knowledge Base for help with every part of Snapcoms. Or from inside the Content Manager, just click on the question mark at the top of any page, and you can contact our support team by online chat or by email, or open the Tutor for instant contextual help. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please visit www.snapcoms.com. Snapcoms, get employee attention.